I watched his press conference today. He he was he was incoherent. It was scary. Uh, uh, you know, people in Puerto Rico, they're great. They're great people. They love them. I love great people. They're great people. We need to help them. Where the fuck were you for the last five fucking days? And, and you're right, Frank. It's just like it's just like the power going off and having Vermont decimated or Texas. No boats. Well, where, well, no where boats have gone to Puerto Rico. But where the fuck has this guy been for the last five fucking days? Oh, no, no boats have landed there. No aircraft has dropped off water. Yeah, food. but but the the top the one of the top uh, um, I don't know if it was a senator or a congressperson uh, said you know you take a four or five star three star general uh, send a fleet over there and try to help the people. People are dying in the hospitals. You know why? There's no fucking power. I know. I know. And they're all Americans. They're American citizens. That drives me crazy. But well, he doesn't give a shit. With all due respect, the United States as a whole, as a country, has some very, very serious issues with places that have been devastated before Puerto Rico. Does he not owe it to himself to address what's happening in his own country first? Uh, okay, with all due respect, I, I don't know what you're saying. Um, he addressed uh, Texas. Uh, he addressed uh, uh, quite a few things. Uh, he's not addressing Puerto Rico. He's addressed uh, the uh, NFL and the NBA. The whole, he has not addressed Puerto Rico. Because what I'm saying is all that the, the, the damage, the devastation is over, but the real cleanup is just starting. I mean, that stuff needs to be examined every single day. So if you Clean want... Up. If you want to start you talking about There's, right now, uh, Puerto Rico is hanging on by the hair of their chinny chin chin, and there's uh, the major dam in Puerto Rico is about to breach, yeah. and it's going to drown everybody. Gonna and here's a, here's here's the issue that I I really have a, a an issue with is that this guy two days ago said that Puerto Rico was in financial difficulty. This is a fucking guy that's gone bankrupt a gazillion times, that bankrupted casinos that fucked everybody that supported him in um, New Jersey, uh, in, in Atlantic City. And now, and, and, and he's talking about Puerto Rico's um, financial fiscability uh, as a state versus all the people that are dying, that are drowning, people that are not accounted for. Like, this guy is a fucking whack job. Yeah, and when he said it, he brought up the, the stock exchange. I mean, what? I mean, And now they're trying, they're trying to pass a bill uh, underneath everybody that you can't sue a bank. You know, the sad thing about Puerto Rico, they're, gonna, they're not going to have power for another month. Now, he is a, he's showing up, what, this week, next Tuesday? I, well, but I don't have no fucking clue why the fuck he's going there. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, I don't give a fuck. What is he going to sell more hats? They need to send a, a, a SWAT team, uh, and they need to bring power and generators. They're, they've run out of diesel fuel. The hospitals have shut down. People that were on life support are dead. It's bizarre that this fucking guy is the president of the United States, and his hardcore uh, supporters should understand this guy is whacked. And so people say to me today, I just had a meeting and say, Frank, why are you so obsessed with this? Because he is basically in charge of the free world. His speech to the United Nations was incoherent. It was crazy. It was nuts. And this guy's in charge of the world? Well, fuck. 